We grew up in a society where unreal bodies are constantly portrayed as ideal. Despite a huge variety of women in different colors and shapes, we glamorize a small percentage of women portrayed by media. We make young girls believe their weight is a determining characteristic of their value to society. According to research, the death rate associated with anorexia is 12 times higher than the death rate associated with any other causes of death for teenagers. In this video, a classroom of girls was interviewed in the following questions. What is your definition of beauty? You don't necessarily have to have that like perfect definition of beauty, like the blonde hair and the blue eyes and whatever, but if you carry yourself and speak like you know what you're talking about, I think that's really beautiful, like that's what true beauty is. To me, beauty means looking in the mirror and loving what you see. Um, my definition of beauty would be to be yourself and be proud of it, like to know yourself and being able to love like every inch of yourself. My definition of beauty would be like being confident with yourself and like happy in your own skin and being yourself. <laughs> Sorry, I get like nervous. Um, my definition of beauty is kind of just the way you carry yourself. I think the way someone like walks and like they show the confidence not it kind of like makes them stand out. Have you ever felt pressured to look in a determined way because of the media or your environment? Yeah, I have. Actually, no, because honestly, really don't care what people think of me. It's all what I put out of myself. So whatever I make myself do or I like to exhibit to others is how they define me and how they know me. So I don't want to put anything bad out and get bad things to come in. So. Yes, because society wants us girls to look a certain way. I'm, I'm the type of person that I'm just myself. I, I think I don't think there's an ideal image that everyone that like ideal image that someone should envy a specific body type or hair or skin tone. And I think we should all just be content with what we have, what our parents gave us. Yeah, I think girls everywhere are pressured to look a certain way and do a certain thing every single day. Nope. Everybody's trying to shape people to, to look a certain way and that kind of makes me feel bad about myself sometimes, I guess, to me, but, you know, it's just something that you have to live with the way you look and you have to love yourself. Sometimes, yes, but I love myself, so I accept who I am. We grow up holding Disney dolls and watching these movies and looking at these magazine models and none of them look like you and there's these standards and the Disney princesses don't break out and they don't have sizes as thick as you and then you start to worry about yourself. If you could give a message to girls who feel unworthy because of their appearance, what would you tell them? That they're not alone and that they're perfect just the way they are. You're fabulous. They should just not really look at appearance more about what's on the inside. Like you really shouldn't care what the media says or what people think you should be like as long as you find like happiness in yourself. Beauty is in the way you treat others and the way it reflects upon everyone else in your life. Um, just be yourself, don't fall under society's norms and do your best to stay positive no matter what. Find yourself, love yourself, and be strong, and don't listen to what anyone has to say about you because you're beautiful as you are. Don't, don't ever think that you're like nothing because of the way you look. Don't, don't ever like doubt yourself because that's that's just like a fake concept. Like you are beautiful on the inside, and just speak your mind and never let anyone tell you like that because you're this, that you can't do something. You can do anything you want to, and you can say anything you want to say. It is time we teach our girls that beauty comes from within, and they should embrace the unique characteristics that make each one of them beautiful. So that if 20 years from now, a classroom of girls is interviewed again, all of them will smile and say, no, I have never been pressured to be anyone but myself.